So I have to make the decision on my own that it's time for me to move on. So it wasn't like they were taken away from me. Or George Lucas is an American filmmaker, philanthropist, and entrepreneur. Lucas is one of history's most financially successful filmmakers and has been nominated for four Academy Awards. His films are among the 100 highest grossing movies at the North American box office, adjusted for ticket price inflation. Lucas is considered a significant figure of the 20th century New Hollywood movement. Lucas is best known for creating the Star Wars and Indiana Jones franchises and founding Lucasfilm, LucasArts, and Industrial Light and Magic. I've tried to make movies where I step away to sort of Empire and uh, Return of the Jedi. Right, right. And after about a couple weeks, I knew I couldn't do that. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is George Walton Lucas Jr but he's also known as Luke. He was born on May 14, 1944 in Modesto, California, making him 76 at the time of production. He stands five foot six or 1.68 meters tall. Lucas was born and raised in a Methodist family. The religious and mythical themes in Star Wars were inspired by Lucas's interest in the writings of mythologist Joseph Campbell and he would eventually come to identify strongly with the Eastern religious philosophies he studied and incorporated into his films, which were a major inspiration for The Force. Lucas has come to state that his religion is Buddhist Methodist. In 1969, Lucas married film editor Marsha Lou Griffin, who went on to win an Academy Award for her editing work on the original Star Wars film. They adopted a daughter, Amanda Lucas, in 1981 and divorced in 1983. Lucas subsequently adopted two more children as a single parent, daughter Katie Lucas, born in 1988, and son Jet Lucas, born in 1993. His eldest three children all appeared in the three Star Wars prequels, as did Lucas himself. Following the divorce, Lucas was in a relationship with singer Linda Ronstadt in the 1980s. Lucas began dating Melody Hobson, president of Ariel Investments and chair of DreamWorks Animation in 2006. Lucas and Hobson announced their engagement in January 2013 and married on June 22, 2013 at Lucas's Skywalker Ranch in Marin County, California. They have one daughter together, born via gestational carrier in August 2013. Fortunately, I'm old enough to have been through all this stuff before. Uh, and that one is to say, I had to do it. And then you do end up with this thing, which is, you know, you've got to live with it and people are going to talk about it and all that kind of stuff. It's like talking about your divorce or something. It's just it's awkward, but it's not painful. Born and raised in Modesto, California, on May 14, 1944, George Lucas initially had his eye on a career in racing cars. But after a potentially fatal accident in high school in which another driver broadsided him, Lucas' interest shifted considerably. Lucas' father owned a stationery store and wished for George to work for him when he graduated high school. However, George wanted to attend art school and declared upon leaving home that he was determined to be a millionaire by the age of 30. After graduating from the University of Southern California in 1967, Lucas co-founded American Zotrope with filmmaker Francis Ford Coppola. Lucas wrote and directed THX 1138, 1971, based on his earlier student short, Electronic Labyrinth, THX 1138 for EB, which was a critical success, but a financial failure. His next work as a writer-director was the film American Graffiti, 1973, inspired by his youth in the early 1960s Modesto, California, and produced through his newly founded Lucasfilm. The film was critically and commercially successful and received five Academy Award nominations, including Best Picture. Lucas' next film, the epic space opera Star Wars 1977, had a troubled production but was a surprise hit, becoming the highest grossing film at the time, winning six Academy Awards and sparking a cultural phenomenon. Lucas produced and co-wrote the sequels, The Empire Strikes Back, 1980, and Return of the Jedi, 1983. 
With director Steven Spielberg, he created, produced, and co-wrote the Indiana Jones films Raiders of the Lost Ark, 1981, The Temple of Doom, 1984, The Last Crusade, 1989, and The Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, 2008. He also produced and wrote a variety of films and television series through Lucasfilm between the 1970s and the 2010s. In 1977, Lucas re-released the Star Wars trilogy as part of a special edition featuring several alterations. Home media versions with further changes were released in 2004 and 2011. He returned to directing with a Star Wars prequel trilogy comprising Star Wars Episode I The Phantom Menace 1999, Star Wars Episode II Attack of the Clones 2002, and Star Wars Episode III Revenge of the Sith 2005. He last collaborated on the CGI animated television series Star Wars The Clone Wars 2008 to 2014 and 2020, the war film Red Tails 2012, and the CGI film Strange Magic 2015. Coming off the incredible success of American Graffiti, Lucas was entitled to a salary of $500,000 for his next movie. That was a significant raise over the $150,000 he earned from Graffiti. Instead of accepting the 300% pay raise, George approached the Fox executives with a proposition. George generously offered to keep his salary at $150,000 in exchange for two seemingly insignificant requests. Number one, that he retain all merchandising rights, and number two, that he would retain the rights to any sequels. Fox executives were thrilled with the offer, thinking George's space movie wouldn't be much more than a blip on the entertainment radar. Obviously, this turned out to be a very bad deal for Fox, and arguably the greatest film contract in history for George. By 2012, Star Wars had earned $20 billion in merchandise sales and $4 billion in home entertainment sales. On October 30th, 2012, George Lucas announced that he signed a deal to sell his entire Lucasfilm company to Disney for a staggering $4.1 billion in cash and stock. Lucas owned 100% of the company, which means the entire $4 billion went into his pockets. His net worth more than doubled from $3.3 billion to $7.3 billion overnight. George Lucas' net worth is $6.5 billion. George's largest real estate asset is the nearly 5,000-acre Skywalker Ranch in Marin County, California. He purchased the ranch in 1978 and has spent over $100 million turning the property into a private home, movie studio, retreat, and screening theater for 300 people. The property also features a 50,000-square-foot private home, several pools, tennis courts, and more. In 2017, he purchased a 9,000-square-foot home in the Bel Air neighborhood of Los Angeles for $33.9 million. In 2010, he spent $19.5 million for a beachfront home in Carpinteria, California, just south of Santa Barbara. He tore down the existing home and built a much larger Cape Cod-style house on the property. In December 2019, George spent $28 million to buy the house next door. The house next door had previously been owned by a woman named Frances Moorhart, who died in 2018 at the age of 93. His new combined beachfront footprint in Carpinteria is over three acres. George Lucas' cars include a Mosler MT900S, a Fiat Bianchina, and a Ferrari F360. George Lucas has a Gulfstream G550 private jet. 